Welcome to Electron Online and in this video we're going to talk about amortization and in the future videos and the videos to come as well this is kind of a big topic. Amortization is used when we borrow money for example to buy a house. So we go and buy a house, we don't have all the money cash to pay for the house, we need to borrow some money from the bank. Let's say we need to borrow $200,000 in order to make the sale and so we're going to amortize the loan over 30 years. That means we're going to pay back the loan over a period of 30 years. We're going to make 30 equal payments. Initially, a very small portion of the payment will go to paying back the principal. A lot of the payment will go to paying the interest. And as time goes by, a greater and greater portion of your payment will go to paying out the principal, less and less of the interest. And after 30 years, the last payment will basically pay off whatever is left on the loan. And the house is then free and clear. You then own the entire house. Until then, the bank owns part of it. And so you then put up as a, a, a backing, as a security to the bank, the value of the house. So if for some reason you stop paying the bank, the bank then has legal right to come and possess your home and saying it's no longer yours, we need the home because you haven't paid us back yet. So assuming you make all the payments over 30 years, what will be your monthly payment and what will be the total payments made over the life of the loan and what will be the total interest paid to the bank over those 30 years. So here's the equation that we need to calculate that. So the monthly payment MP equals the principal, the amount of money that you borrow from the bank, that would be $200,000, times the rate divided by the number of monthly payments. So M will be 12, or I should say yearly payments. So M would be 12 because we're making monthly payments. And so divided by one minus the quantity one plus the rate divided by 12 raised to the minus M times T. M times T is the total number of payments you're going to make. M is 12 and T would in this case be 30. 12 times 30 is 360, which means that would be 360 equal payments over the 30 years. Let's find out what the monthly payment will be. So it's equal to 200,000 dollars times the rate 0.05 divided by the number of payments in a year that's 12 the whole thing divided by 1 minus the quantity 1 plus the rate divided by 12 raised to the minus 12 times 30 and of course 12 times 30 is 360 and let's close the bracket so let's see what that monthly payment would be for such a loan 0 0.05 divided by 12 plus 1 equals. That's better. We raise that to the minus 360th power. So 360 minus equals. We subtract this quantity from 1. So subtract from 1. Then we bring it to the numerator by hitting the 1 over x button. We multiply the times 0 0.05. We divide it by 12 and we multiply times 200,000. And there it is. Monthly payment. 1,000. $73.64. All right, so the bank then will require you to pay $1,073.64 for the next 30 years and then the whole loan will be paid off. That's what we call an amortization loan. Now, what will be the total number of payments that we make? The total payments, well, total payments, payments is equal to the single payment of $1,000. $73.64 multiply times 360 because that's how many payments you will make. So we multiply that number. So we have 1073.64 times 360. And so the total amount of money paid back to the bank will be $386,510.40. All right. Well, since $200,000 of that will be the principal pay back to the bank, we then subtract from that the $200,000, and the remainder then will be $186,510.40, which is the total interest paid to the bank. So, at the end of 30 years, you will have paid back to the bank $386,510, 200,000 of that is to yourself because it's basically the money that you borrow, so you pay that back. And the remainder, that's what the bank makes for, from that loan, $186,510 is the money paid back to the bank in terms of interest. And that's what they earn to, bear, to lend you the money for the house. And that's what we call basic amortization. So now we're going to explore all kinds of different things. How does the rate change the monthly payment? How does the duration of the loan change the payment? And what can people afford? And what does the rate mean in terms of the price of the house and so forth? 
all kinds of good questions, and we'll take a look at that and see how we have to deal with amortization. A good understanding of this is really worth a lot because people need to understand what, how amortization works. When you go and buy a house, you should have a good understanding of that. And of course, if you get into finance, you have to get a really good understanding of this because you want to give people advice on this. And that's how we do that.